Skywatch Media News for the second week of November 2020. The sky is ablaze with powerful fireball and meteor events, most notably from the Northern Hemisphere. Here is what is being reported by observers across the globe. On the evening of November the 8th, residents of the eastern Atlantic states witnessed a spectacular phenomenon when a large meteor exploded above them. Sky watchers were left awestruck by the meteor, which produced a bright white tail resembling a missile as it passed through the atmosphere. Hundreds of reports poured into the American Meteor Society from all across the eastern seaboard, including southeast Canada. The preliminary trajectory indicates that the fireball was traveling from east to west, where its visibility ended somewhere over Poughkeepsie, New York. A camera capture from both Pennsylvania and New Jersey shows the meteor booming through the sky before disappearing into the distance. On the same day of the powerful fireball display over the Atlantic seaboard, another meaningful event occurred from this region of the country. New England was jolted by an earthquake, the strongest in decades. The 3.6 tremor rattled homes from Massachusetts to Long Island, New York. The epicenter was situated at a depth of 9.3 miles off the coast of New Bedford. It was the strongest earthquake to hit the region since the year 1976. The shaking sparked a great deal of concern among residents of southern New England, with thousands of reports coming in from areas of greater distance from the epicenter. It is very rare to see an earthquake of increased magnitude in this part of the country. A typical tremor when it occurs would be in the 1 to 2.5 range. However, it is fair to say that earthquakes in New England can be felt over longer distances because the rock below the surface is old, it is very stretched out, and it transmits energy for longer distances. Just prior to the sky and earth-shaking events over the U.S., a giant fireball described as sporadic in nature exploded over Sweden and Norway. Hundreds of reports of the massive fireball were received by the Norwegian Meteor Network. Preliminary calculations indicate that the meteor was traveling at 36,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 50 miles when entering the atmosphere. According to the Norsk Meteor Network, the space rock was 5 feet in length with a mass of 5 tons, releasing the equivalent of 180 tons of TNT. The explosion may have produced meteorites impacting the Earth's surface. Camera captures of the event show a slow-moving meteor lasting several seconds that was so bright that it lit up both the ground and the sky. Meantime, a very bright fireball was seen exploding over Brazil on November the 8th. According to Brazil's Meteorological Observation Network, the bullet entered the Earth's atmosphere at 2054 local time, where it began to disintegrate at an altitude of 42 miles. The fiery space rock was traveling at a speed of nearly 39,000 miles per hour before disappearing southeast of Brasilia. 
The video footage shows the bolid entering the atmosphere from several camera angles. On November the 6th, a huge meteorite was spotted in the sky over the city of Rome. Spectacular video images were captured over central Italy's territories, showing the unique phenomenon. This has been a busy month for prominent meteor and fireball sightings over Japan. On November the 3rd, a bright fireball exploded in the sky over Sakurajima volcano. Seven days later, on November the 10th, another fireball was sighted over the city of Harazuka, viewed from five different positions as shown on social media. Take a look. On November the 11th, an asteroid known as 2020 VP1 passed extremely close to the Earth, close enough to where it was photographed by astronomers as it passed by our planet. The asteroid, which is 59 feet wide, passed at a distance of nearly 112,000 miles, roughly half the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The asteroid was discovered by NASA satellites on November the 10th, just one day prior to its passage, traveling at a speed of 48,466 miles per hour. The image of the asteroid was picked up by the Virtual Telescope Project on November the 10th, when it was still approaching the Earth from a distance of 515,000 miles. Asteroid 2020 VP1 becomes the 86th known asteroid to pass within one lunar distance of the Earth in the year 2020. There was a time not so long ago when we would look up to the sky and wonder about our place in the stars. Nowadays, we look down and around us and worry about our place on this Earth. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and take but a moment in your day to look to the sky.